Hello Collective. This is for Libra. I welcome you to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Uh, nice to meet you. I hope I can guide you um, to open your mind a little bit more about something. And I hope that you will hit subscribe if I help you. You're very artistic and generous. You're very delightful. And your body is in harmony. You're social and you're very idealistic. You're charming and romantic, okay? And um, you see the beauty in everything. And your essence strives to create harmonious connections. You frequently search for love and meaningful partnerships. Your talents are in your charming, idealistic, and artistic personality. Because you, you can, you're easy to talk to and you listen well and you see all sides of a situation. You go out of your way for others and you have a very generous heart. When you feel balanced and surrounded by love, you can abundantly attract your desires. So remember that, Libra. You're somebody who's very balanced and you're the masculine sign. Okay? You can be a feminine with all that masculine in you also. All right? Yep, you surely can. You surely can be a feminine that has all that in you. A lot of masculine qualities. And, and that's okay. That is okay. Let's see what calls out today in tarot to us, okay? <coughs> Let's see what calls out us today for Libra. Spirit guides. Um, I need your all's help. I've been on here for almost a year and I need people's help if you don't mind. Oh, you're moving from the dark to the light. See how she's moving from the dark to the light? Six of swords. That's what you're doing. You're balancing out your dark side and your light side at the moment and your angels are guiding you. They're guiding you along the path, Libra. So, don't you doubt it, honey pies. Don't you doubt. Don't you doubt that you did the right thing to leave all this trash behind. You left the trash and the dust. And keep leaving the damn trash and the dust and don't go back. Oh, well, you're going towards your your happiness. Your, maybe you are with your partner and you all feel a lot of love for each other. But your your angels are guiding you to the one that you love. They appreciate you. They want to take you out and romance you so you can have the time of your life, baby. Oh, it's the emperor. The emperor. Ooh. Emperor. You know, and uh, Libra, that's divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So, you know, you're the emperor. Uh, you're, you're standing up in your, in your leadership role. Or it's saying this emperor is going to stand up and take you away from all this dark and bring you into the light with him. He's tired of being pushed to the back now, Libra. That's what it's saying. And um, Eight of Swords, you know, you can't stay in this self-imposed prison forever, Libra. The angels is on your shoulder saying, wake up, wake up. We got you. We're, we're guiding you. We're guiding you to the emperor. Wake up, wake up. See and notice around. Pay attention. Pay attention. We're giving you clues. That's what it said. They're giving you clues. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's about removing all these burdens um, that isn't yours to pack anymore. Okay? Somebody sees your worth. They know you're worthy of this. And, and, and you... Maybe you left this way of uh, feeling. I think you did. I think I think you saw how you were self-sabotaging yourself, maybe. And you started going towards your spiritual path. Oh, yeah, look. Your wishes is going to be granted. Oh, maybe it's your birthday. Somebody out here that you're connected to, Libra. Well, happy birthday to whoever it is you love. Maybe it's their birthday. And you're all going to get together and celebrate. It's a celebration. And then we got three of pentacles. Yeah, look, you're you're moving from the trash. You're moving away from the trash dark side to the light. And, and you're leading others. You're guiding the way. And somebody might want to come together and work with you. I think that's what it's saying. And uh, you're showing your creativeness to the world. That's what it's saying. And 
and you're happy to do this. And looky here, your giant love from the divine coming to your to your the one you love. Just ever flowing love is coming down to you. You're going to receive an opportunity to be with this emperor, or you are the emperor. You're going to you're going to receive love from your spirit tribe. They are they see you as their leader. Yeah, and their spiritual mentor, the Hierophant. Look, ah, oh, see? So you're leading the way for others. This is your spiritual way, and you're teaching others and guiding them. The Spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. And Seven of Pentacles, you know, this is talking about the seeds you planted. You're seeing some, uh, some seeds you sown in the past. You're, you know, you're picking some, picking seeds. Picking these seeds that you planted. You, um... This person wants to build with you. You gotta let them in and let that love shine in and get out of this darkness. That's what it's saying to me. It might say something different to somebody else, but that's what it's saying to me. And then we got Eight of Cups. Uh... It looks like um, the spirits guided you to, and moved you away from this hectic life that you was in. And, and, and so you can remove these burdens and stop being pessimistic about it and go towards your wish fulfillment. That's what it's saying now. Oh, we got four of pentacles. This is about your stability. You wished for stability and it's coming, baby. Don't you doubt it. The little gnomes is help you, helping you look. <laughs> The gnomes is helping you to bring this stability into your life. They're helping you to remove all these burdens. They they helped you to walk away from this uh, being stuck in your mind feeling. Do you understand? They brought growth into your life. That's what they did. You're meant to show others what true pure love is. I think this is my purpose. That's what I'm supposed to do. I think so, you guys, is to show what true love is. I really do. I really do think that. Now, let me see what. I ain't did one of these in a while. Let's see what one of these tells us, okay? I don't have the book in here, so I'm going to go off intuition, all right? Spirit guides, can you help me and my collective with a message today? Spirit guides, for my Libras, can you help us with a message today? Please and thank you very, very much. We love you and we appreciate you. Oh, fulfillment. See? Whatever you've been wishing for, number 20 may be of importance. Uh, whatever you're wishing for, your wishes is about to come true. You feel fulfillment with inside yourself, okay? Your cup of love is overflowing. Fulfillment is coming to you, babes. Don't you doubt it. And it says all your needs are being met. You're close to achieving your goal. Celebrate your choices. Integrate all you have learned. And look around and recognize all the ways your life is full. So you need to look around and recognize how all the ways that your life is full at the moment. I wrote on some of these cards, but it wasn't many. It was only like 20 of them. So, yeah, see, here's 25, and I didn't write on it. This is about meditation. This is about you needing to meditate and get back in touch with, with your spirit guides, okay? Spirit's telling you to do that today. You need to pray. I think that's what it's saying. So your dreams will come true. You need to meditate, number 20 and 25. That's the only ones I'm getting out. Okay, that's the only ones I'm getting out. Maybe that'll help someone today. Maybe that'll help your emperor, Libra. You never know now, honey bunches. You really never, never know. But I think it'll help somebody, okay? What is for Libra today? I got two decks together here, and sometimes it comes out a little bad, but that tells us what the enemy's doing. Do you understand why I did that? Okie dokie. Destroyer. 
You gain a magical steed chosen from among the following, a bear, a elk, a stallion, a rhino, a sloth, or a wolf. Ooh, looky there. You chose a rhino, too. You have a magical rhino helping you in your spirit team that you don't understand. They're helping you to destroy your enemies. That's what I see every time when I see the Stryer. You think you might you might have been living in your self-imposed prison thinking that you wasn't removing these burdens, but baby, you are, baby, you are. And it says, Traveler, you have a free spirit that inspires you to go on exciting adventures near and far. See? You're you're meant to travel. You're you're meant to travel this world and, and go on exciting adventures near or far. So I think what it's saying is this emperor is going to come to you. Uh, and, and, and ask you to go out on a date with him. Oh, that's what it is. And, and, uh, somebody is, somebody knows your location and status at all times, okay? There's some, there's somebody around that has the, um, that has their eye on you every time you travel. Did you see that? Every time you travel. And, and it, then it says, once within the next year, you may ask any question and receive a truthful, helpful solution. So within this next year, you, you're going to find a helpful solution that they've been traveling to maybe get your attention. And you might have not even been paying attention to them. I think that's what it's saying. Okay. I think that's what it's saying. Oh, Phantom. This card comes to life as an inkillable, implacable specter. It will follow you wherever you go and may pass through walls in order to do so. They placed the a phantom to follow you around. See, that's why that came out. That's why this traveler, you're a free spirit, and whoever this person is, they, like, got a mask on. Uh, you're unmasking this person because whoever this specter is, they're trying to... Uh, they're following you every time you go out in town. And they might even be have placed this thing to come through the walls. To come through your through your walls to see what you're up to. But, you know, Radiator, you send out a beacon of love, comfort, and upliftment through your bond with spirit. See, they didn't know who they was messing with messing with. You're magical. You you you're a beacon of love, comfort, and light and upliftment to others. And you, you gain the service of a band of 20-level soldiers. They follow your orders unflinchingly and with complete loyalty. See, you have followers that love you loyalty, loyally from near and far away. You know, and uh, you just got to believe in it. Oh, and then we got walk-in. You are a cosmic consciousness who has taken human form on a special mission. So, um, they might have sent a walk-in sp spirit to follow you and and your followers like my followers you know um my spirit my spirit tribe and i love y'all um somebody's on a special mission to take you out because it says when it says choose any one being to designate as your quarry you always know the location and status of your quarry when you kill it you immediately you immediately gain a level see they sent a walking spirit to try to kill you is phantom to come through your walls. Did you hear that? I love spirit guides how it tells on them. Oh, and then it said cosmic link. You have a direct connection with the universe that helps you understand this world. See, so people all around the world is understanding you and things about you at the moment. And it's a doppelganger, this doppelganger. And, and uh, this is, this car comes to life as an identical version of you, including skills, memories and equipment except with the opposite alignment see this person isn't in the same alignment as you and they start everything you do they're they're praying that you quit and you travel away from um doing fr from your bond with spirit but god won't allow that god won't allow it because uh, you're from god do you understand and and your spirit team is is watching these people seeing these walk-in spirits from uh from um uh, and try to mess up your connection with the with the universe and it's pissing off God. I'm telling you right now, it come a lie. It come a lie that I'm telling you the truth. So Libra, pay attention to me. 
it come to light that that's what they're doing. And um, I don't know what you think about that, but that's that's what they're doing, okay? I know I don't like it. And I got a lot of Libra in me, and these some bitches better leave me alone. Hatney, Hatney Libras. Yeah, I'm an Aquarius. I got more Libra in me than anything. A lot of it. So I know I'm a divine feminine with a lot of divine masculine inside of me. They messed with the wrong bitch, didn't they? And then we got the Ankh, and this is lucky in Egypt. The Ankh was one of the most treasured and luckiest Egyptian symbols and represents the key of life. It was often worn as an amulet and appears on the walls of many burial chambers with deities such as Osiris, god of the underworld, and Mayot, goddess of truth, holding it. Due to the fact that it looked like a key, it was believed to provide access to the afterlife. It can be made from metal, precious stones, or wood. Wear an onk necklace for extra luck when you feel you need it. Well, this came out for you, Libra, because, you know, you are like my aunt. You, you are the goddess of truth. You know, I've got a lot of Libra men. That's what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to bring out the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. And this is what... This is what we need to get. This is what your ancient Egyptians are telling you, okay, Libra? That's what they're telling you. And then we have amber hit fell into my hand, and this is a fossil resin rather than a gemstone. Amber has long been a symbol of good luck. The Vikings in Scandinavia used it to attract strength by carving it into the shape of powerful animals. Greek and Roman women used it for fertility and gladiators carried it with them into battle. And ancient Chinese cultures labeled it the soul of the tiger. How to capture luck. Carry amber with you if you want to come out on top in a meeting. So so you need to connect with amber and get you an get you an, an onk so it will help protect you from from these people that is worried about what you're doing at all times and they travel and pay attention to everything you do and then they take back their shit to their platform because they're a fucking doppelganger and that's all they know how to do they don't know how to do nothing original on their own that's what it's saying and uh and this could be uh you know uh they could be a viking against you they could be a greek or a roman against you or they could be a chinese against you but it's but it doesn't have to be but also in my aquarius reading where it said tiger the chinese uh Labeled it the soul of the tiger. Tiger came out for uh, Aquarius and wishing well. So that might help somebody today. All right. Well, and that's what I got for you today, uh, Libra. And if you don't mind, would you please hit subscribe? I need help. And I'll always give you a good message. I'll try to. And pay attention to what the message said. This is uh, your special mission. And um, you're helping others to understand it around the world. And understand that these doppelgangers think they can get by with with uh, linking into all your information. And all it's going to do is give them karma in the end. That's what kind of like. And I love you, Libra, and I hope this helps you. Like I said, I appreciate you, and please come back here tomorrow. Peace. 1818.